And this is the scene here in Vigo in northwest Spain. We're at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And the starting lineup for Celta Vigo. Well, they should be hard to break down because they're set up to defend in numbers. But it's important they don't leave the front too isolated. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to counter-attack. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. A potentially absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. Modric. Casemiro lost the ball. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Tony Kroos is with Vinicius Junior. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. And going short with it. Vinicius. Vinicius Jr. And a poor ball. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Might be able to get in behind the defence. He takes aim. Body in the way. And teammates to play it to. Denis Suarez. Well, they just let his opponent glide by. Opportunity here. Really sound defending. And a decent save. Full credit. Benzema. And he saw the situation developing. Casemiro are certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. And Modric carries it forward. Well, let's see what he does next. And blocked for now. Nolito. Bryce Mendes. Nolito.
Oh, great defending. Benzema. Mendy has it. Alert defending. Fran Beltran. And tidily played. Servi. Noliso. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Could be a chance to break here. Vinicius Junior. Here's Modric. It could be up for grabs. Oh, a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Now sending it in. They couldn't maintain possession. Benzema. He's in here. And a goal! It's Modric to put his team in front. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Denis Suarez. Good movement. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well cleared away. Suarez. Good tackle. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Luka Modric, a man at the hub of so many things creative, bringing his influence to bear, Stuart. Yeah, he's had a good first half, hasn't he? Looked lively, created plenty of chances and rewarded for his industry with that key goal. Hopefully he can keep that momentum going into the second half now. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. He made it look simple, really. Casemiro. Tony Kroos. Vinicius. Modric. Now with Vinicius Jr. Will he find the net? And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Carvajal Corner given to Real Madrid 
Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Who's going to get on the end of it? And he's clear as lines. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Given away by Denis Suarez. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Abi Galan. Plenty of running room in the wide position. But they took care of the situation defensively. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Benzema. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Servi. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. The outcome is a goal kick here. for Real Madrid Eder Militao Now with Benzema. Benzema seducing with his passing. Modric! Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game now sending it in well, using his body to good effect Benzema this could finish it! And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. And return to Benzema. Look at Modric. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, a 
second goal for them here. Servi. Tapia on the ball. And reading it absolutely superbly. And he could really get at the opposition. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Modric. Marco Asensio. On to Benzema. Oh, what an opportunity. Defending of the highest class to stop him. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Luka Modric tends to bring a calm authority to any game. How would you sum up what he produced? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.